I am Super Vegeta! So this is where Kakarot and the others waste their time. This one might provide a challenge. <laughs> Easy play. When we find Cell, keep your hands off him. He's mine. I don't see 18 anywhere. She's got to be hiding somewhere on one of these islands. Very well. Listen up, 18. You better make your presence known. If you don't, I'm going to start destroying these islands one at a time until I find you. She won't come out. She's not making this easy. You... You're Vegeta! So, you're Cell. <gasps> That's... Vegeta! And what is it that you think you're doing here? Don't tell me you think you can stop me! I didn't come here to stop you. I came here to tear you limb from limb. Tear me limb from limb, you? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, but I'm getting so tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Take a good long look, Cell. I'm going to beat that stupid grin right off that annoying face of yours. I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? <laughs> How is this happening? You're Vegeta, right? I mean, Vegeta? Wrong. I am Super Vegeta! Oh, that power level is huge! Uh, amazing! So that's the new and improved Vegeta, huh? So, is Trunks that strong too? I don't see Goku or Gohan anywhere. Uh, it's the androids. They were here the whole time? Cell, Vegeta, Trunks, they don't know they're here, do they? Uh, I've got to be within 10 yards of them for the remote control to work. Uh, here goes nothing. You've used up all your power, and still you couldn't muster the strength to fight me. Very disappointing. Oh, this can't be... <laughs> this can't be happening! <laughs> if I could only gain the energy I need to fight you with my perfect body! What's that? 
You actually think getting that perfect body of yours would be enough to defeat me? <laughs> of course. I wouldn't lose to the likes of you. <sighs> okay. Uh, now, I should be within 10 yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. Otherwise, Cell's going to absorb her. This is my only shot. Better make it count. See ya. <laughs> huh? You. Uh, uh, that's an emergency shutdown remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Bulba. Huh? Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid Cell and live your life! Why did you... Why did you destroy that? That was your only chance! It's... Uh... If I could achieve my perfect form... Power, speed, technique, intelligence. I would be perfect in every way. The computer told me as much. Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You, you would have no hope of defeating me. At least not as you are right now. Hmm. Father, don't tell me you're... You say and say you're warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your metal against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling on about. Go on! Father! <laughs> My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not! Hey, Vegeta! Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? It's 18! So she was hiding there the whole time. Uh -huh. Cell knows where you are! <sighs> no! You're not going anywhere! Don't even think about it, Trunks! What? <sighs> you... <laughs> I'm so close to perfection I can taste it! Father, what you're doing is wrong! We can't let him absorb 18! <laughs> Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No. I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future! <laughs> my eyes! No! Stop! Eighteen! No! We're finally going to see this perfection of his. It better not disappoint, that's for sure. No! He's...
there it is. Cell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell's newfound strength. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving Perfection. <laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it's a Is that so? Time to die! This gap between us you mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> oh, whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell! Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin! Take my father and get him out of here! Right, you got it! Uh, 
Trunk's power level, it's taken a massive dive! Cell's power level is through the roof! <sighs> Did he overpower Trunk's? <sighs> Not good! Vegeta! Come on, Vegeta, wake up! But I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A... a tournament? Let's make it... Mm, 10 days from now. Say 12 o'clock? That should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. Uh, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time, and if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me, and then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules, and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell! What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness, and plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you half-wits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us! Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way. I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Uh -huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please, take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay, I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin! Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. 